All right. Let's um let's do a couple things real quick before we get into Guild Wars. Guys, again, good morning. Um, if, if you guys are joining us for Crowfall, we, we're just transitioning out of Crowfall uh, just because it is, uh, it's a little dead this morning. So I want to entertain you guys. Mr. Wrath was, was nice enough to give us some pointers on our melee ranger build. Um, so we are going to apply those. But in the meantime, we're going to go back over to Guild Wars. We're going to continue on with our char... Revenant storyline. This will be my computer, guys. Don't don't panic. That is me, not you. <clears throat> All right. I really have enjoyed the second look at at Guild Wars. It's been so long that I think when I was much much younger, back in my day. Um, it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't a game I was, I thoroughly enjoyed. You guys ever have those types of games where you just don't thoroughly enjoy it? And then like you come back years later and it's like, man, what was I thinking? Like, this is actually pretty sweet, you know? And that's kind of where I'm at. <clears throat> All right, let's change this. Let's do, uh, Char Revenant. Playthrough continuation. Update information. Uh, Guild Wars 2 is good. Haven't played in a few myself. Interested in seeing it now. It's actually incredibly polished. Uh, and that's what I was talking to uh, Rivians about the other day. Um, give me one second. There we go. All right, let's turn off our music. This is all about immersion too, so. Oh, we get a login reward. Heck yeah, man. Give me that login reward. All right. Let's get refreshed on, on where we were, what we were doing. Okay. What level is that, 18? <clears throat> I think we'll go down there and do that, and we'll hit that scout out. Actually, there's some up there that are pretty lower level. This one's a higher level. I'll tell you what, we're going to knock this, and then we'll go up here and visit that scout. Looks like that may be the, the best logical path progression. So they've added mounts into the game now, Mist, um, and Path of Fire, which you can buy for $30. They've added the Raptor, which we picked up. <coughs> You can get that at the start. There's more after you finish the storyline, but this is the one you get within like the first few minutes. So, all right, repel grub larva from plants, stop chickens from feeding, and remove damaged plants, which is actually kind of nice because there's not there's not a cast timer. I was telling my brother about it yesterday because he was asking like, you know, so is it is it insta cast? It really is. It's actually kind of the way they've implemented it is nice, um, which is pretty cool. This just seems like a good game for like us us Crowfallians, us Chromies, uh, to play because it, it like when it's downtime because it has some similarities in a way. Uh, at least that's my opinion. You know, you can hop in, you can PvP, you can do world versus world stuff like that if that's what you're into. Uh, it's got some obviously got some content PVE wise that you can look into. PVE. <laughs> It's got crafting, although it's definitely not in, as in-depth as Crowfall is. I don't think I've ever seen a game that has such in-depth crafting <clears throat> that I've enjoyed. <clears throat> I really can't wait, though, to start crafting my own gear. That's probably going to be half the fun for me in 5.7, is like actually gearing out my own character by myself instead of depending upon others. Caden, don't hit your iPad, dude. You're going to break it, and I'm not going to buy you another one. He just smoked his iPad. Like, you could hear it, and he just 
smacked it. He comes by it, honestly. I don't know what this does. What does this do? Uh, swing your shovel. Okay. So I can scare away chickens with it? Nice. Ooh. I thought I thought I was scaring away chickens, guys. I guess not. It was super involved at some point when I left that, or it was at the same time. Very zergy in PvP. Your merm will be a beast once you get your vessel in level. Yeah, I've got some guys who can make me vessels. I'm not worried about that. So I'm definitely going to try that. I'm going to take your advice there. Yeah, you and I can definitely... We'll, we'll, we'll talk, man. Me and you are definitely going to talk for sure. I need to learn some more of those. Some skills on this bar. <clears throat> I think I've learned all that I can in Dwarf. I don't think I can unlock that one yet. Level 31, yeah. So let's go and train this. And then train this one. That also requires level 31. Okay. Noted. Legendary Assassin, step through the mist to your target. Your next few attacks can be blocked, can't be blocked, and then inflict increased damage. All right, I was really hoping this would actually be a combat one, but it's not. So let's go up here and let's knock out this one to make sure I got everything down here. Yeah, I did. Utility skills, are they new? <clears throat> yeah, so they've added some uh, legends to, like, so you have masteries now. Legendary Assassin training. Uh, so if you come to your build, your specialization, you can come in here and actually select. These are, this indicates like one category a piece. You get one skill from each of these three. So you can come through here and like, you know, kind of pick out your build. It's a little more in depth, a little more involved, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, they've made some really cool changes, man. <clears throat> what are we doing here? Uh, group exercise completed. Perform a horn strike on the practice dummy. Alright, well, how do I use a horn strike? Do I need, like, some sort of... I'm listening. Okay. Um... What? How do I do a horn strike? Let me, what does that say? What these cows need is a good role model. They move faster when they've got a leader. Go despise your, disguise yourself as one of them and show them how it's done. It's fun. Trust me. We've got a cow disguise in those wagons in the middle of the race course. Go grab it and put it on. Where's the race course? Oh, I see it over there. Nice, dude. I get like a little cow disguise. What? That's nuts, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Poke the cow in the butt. <laughs> Lol. Horn strike. There we go. I gotta do eight eight group exercises. Lol. <clears throat> it really is a pretty looking game though. Like I should really stream it without this. I should stream it like this. All right, what's the next group exercise? <clears throat> but I'm not going to because people need their credit. Uh, all right, so horn thrust to our two ability. Yeah, yeah. You better run off, Mr. Rancher. Oh, the things we do for experience in these games. We play as a dead gun bull. The hearts, they love it. Yeah, they do. A okay, we got Miss Moo, Chestnut, Agna, Hoof, Buttercup, and Hazel. What are up with these names, man? Like somebody took their sweet time to try to make sure they, they made this immersive. All right, so I can assume we're gonna use Taunt now. Did you say Miss Moo? No, I said uh, Miss Moo. Miss Moo, M-I-S-S Moo. Alright, taunt. Oh yeah, look at him. Look at all those hearts, man. They are in love. Absolutely in love. That's great, isn't it? Things that make you say, huh. This would be one of them.
<laughs> oh lord. All right, so now we're doing charge, I guess. Do I actually get to kill stuff with this? Look at him. Look at him go. They're beasts, man. You guys came for the action. Little did you know you were going to get some bull action. That's how we roll. I mean, shoot, you can only get one of these off, like, or two of these off in the amount of t time they give you. All right, let's move on to the next one. This one's going to be drop disguise. No. What do we have to do now? It's time to put everything you've learned so far into action. Put those skills to good use. Oh, snap, dude. Let's go. Yes, this is what I wanted. I trained my whole life for this moment. Holy smokes, they're owning me. I'm going to die. Buttercup, save me. No! Buttercup, you didn't save me, man. This IMO is a life that I feel would be good in Crowfall for lore purposes. Yeah, I know it's early, but would be nice. Yeah, I think I think that we're gonna have something. Uh, for well, like, have they even started to implement lore at all? I don't think they have. Wait, I can't. I can't jump. How is I getting crushed like that? That's nuts. You did well disposing of the live targets. Not really. I want to see a combo. combo, huh? Horn strike followed by a horn on the practice. Yo, buddy, what's up? Uh if you, if there's more left, sure. Excellent. A few more seconds. Oh yeah, they love it. They love a good horn strike followed by a good horn thrust. Man, that sounded really bad. Please don't take that out of context. Somebody's going to clip that and just... Uh, especially with the noises in the background. <laughs> oh, good old-fashioned adult humor. Hoof, Buttercup, you guys... Hazel, you're dead! Yeah, there is more left. All right, eat it then, bud. Use a taunt followed by a charge attack. Show them how it's done. All right, so this will be number seven. <clears throat> Probably have one more finisher. One more engagement with live targets, if I had to guess. Let's check it. Man, I've got to mow the yard today. That stinks. All right. All right. A lot of these guys are going to die. Buttercup, you're almost dead. Hazel, I thought you died already. I'm going to let them get aggro, man. Trained wolves. Get him, Hazel. Get him, Hazel. Oh, these guys are, like, strong, too. Oh, I taunted, of course. No, get off of me. Get off of me. Somebody else help me. Help me, Tom Cruise. Taunting is a bad idea because they'll all attack you. Help me, Oprah Winfrey. About to say, where's that heal? Is that heal somewhere in there? I'm dead again, man. One more hit and I'm dead. I gotta lay low. How are these guys still alive? It makes no sense how you guys are more tanky than I am. I have to email the devs. Hey, what the heck's up with this? Butter, a, guy, a, a cow named Buttercup is better than me. All right, cool. So that's done. Good. That was unique. 
I'll say. Alright, let's go up here. Where's the scout at? I thought there was a scout up here somewhere. Let's get this POI. Um, wait, what? Take food and elder soldiers. I think that's up here further. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's go up there. Let's go to this event. Nice. I was looking for some action. Oh yeah, I forgot we we changed our uh, we changed our weapons towards the end of the stream last time. What the heck? It's a stag one. That Necro just dropped them. What level are you? <clears throat> this guy's just owning these guys. I feel like he's a higher level for some reason. But it does lower you down, right? Yeah, so if you're over leveled, it's not going to let you do this level as like a level 80. So I, I kind of like that. It makes it it makes it challenging. So it scales. It's a nice touch. Let's see if we can go over there and do some of those as well, while we're around here. Is that up top? Yeah, it is. How do I... No, maybe down below, actually. It is, indeed. What do we do? Uh, revive Karis Quick Calm. Alright. I shall revive him. Game is so pretty. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, what do we have to do? Worm eggs. Nothing in there, I guess. Strange. Oh, I'm. That's how you collect worm eggs. Okay, cool. Noted. Forget to look at where I, what I loot over there on the right sometimes. But you guys can't really see it. He acts like these are the heaviest eggs in the world. Like, watch him like lift with his back. Ugh. They're so heavy. Look like what my son sounds like when he's got to pick something up that he doesn't want to carry. But it's so heavy, Dad. No, it's not. You just don't want to carry it. Am I bleeding? Yeah. Where's this dude at? Come here. Let's turn some of these in. 14. And that's not even that much. Holy smokes. How many of these do I actually have to get for you? Too lazy to pick them up yourself? Hopefully that person's collecting them too. If not, this is going to take a minute. I already 
completed that. Awesome. Which one did I complete, actually? That one? Hmm. We gotta wait for these to respawn, I guess. I don't know why he's walking this way. I feel like he should just stay at one spot and we just take him back to him. Can you take a boulder for payment? How about that? Will you think it's a worm egg if I pick up a boulder and hand it to you? Probably not, huh? I can use the control button to uh, make these pop up. Oh, he died again? Dude, you talk about death prone. Goodness. Trying to give you eggs. So close. This should do it, actually. These two I just picked up. Yeah, he's going to finish it too. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, so do we. Do we follow them to see if they're going to give us another event? Typically what it is, it like uses it to summon another event, you know? I don't know if that's going to be the case here or not. Why are you still getting eggs? I, I guess you get to play catch up. I just want to fight stuff. I'm going to be honest. That's what I enjoy. Almost level 20. About a quarter of the way there. I wonder if I were like seriously power level. Okay, so looks like that's all. That's all he needs. Or she or whatever it is. Um, if I were to actually like really do this quick, I wonder how fast you could get from 1 to 80. Like leveling. Like for me, I'm trying to do more of a playthrough. And actually, I need to do some storyline today. That's level 10. Yeah, I definitely need to do some storyline. We may go do that here in a little bit. Matter of fact, we'll go up here to this Vista. Probably look into doing that. Do this event. I just like to kill stuff. God, this Revenant's so much fun, man. I was about to say, he didn't move. I'm hoping that they're not bugged. Dude, these people must really hate you. These guys are coming like this at you. I mean, you take like three steps and they're already a whole plethora of them are coming back. That's nuts. <clears throat> Probably one more fight before. Get away from my meat. Interesting. Hmm. 
Alright, so let's let's run up here and get this Vista real quick. Only got bronze for that. Rip. Uh, we'll get this Vista and we'll we'll go continue on the storyline. How do I get up there? Oh, I'm up here. Sweet. Admire the creation. It's pretty cool. It's just good art, man. I think if we take this off, it's just really good art. I'm actually just leave that off. Unless we get some notifications. So, ooh, select your reward. There's another stance we can learn. Centaur. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Black Lion Chest. I need a key to open that, which I don't have. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back to town here. Let's start doing some of the storyline. We're a little behind on the story because we've been trying to focus more on action so we're gonna go back and start that let me pour some more coffee real quick guys again welcome in if you're new here thanks so much for stopping by my name is the yoko we are continuing our char revenant playthrough this morning we uh we played some crowfall earlier but uh with the numbers being a little down for the morning time we decided to uh come back over to good old crowfall or uh good old guild wars as i have spilt coffee Everywhere. Because that's what I'm good at. I may eventually do some SPVP or something like that. I need to I need to get into that. On some streams. I think that would be fun to do. If that's what people are enjoying anyways. Alright, so we're porting to Tribune Desert Grave at the meeting location. That's what we're doing. Dude, my green screen is goofing up again. What in the world? This is the second time today it's done that. I really feel like something's wrong with my camera. Alright, there we go. Should be good for now. Suspicious char. Here's our prey. Just like Tribulus said, he knows every tail wag you want to make before you do. Ah. Where's Tribune Desert Grave? How did you fanatics get this far into the Citadel? Ah. How they got in doesn't matter. What matters is how they're leaving. Ooh. Pieces. Brimstone, what's a blood tribute doing here? Tribulus said this was strictly an Ash Legion arc. Tribulus was wrong. To arms! Uh-oh. Didn't stand a chance. The mission has developed a hiccup. A hiccup. More like tuberculosis. Tribune Desert Grave's been taken hostage. Griefblade captured Fengar and tortured him to get information on the Tribune. Now What's up, Jay Storm? Now this I can do. <laughs> I've been playing it now for a few days. This is my third stream playing it. I played Crowfall a bit earlier. Give you time to gather a strike force to back a 
us up trivial. Then under cover of darkness, we sneak and you storm. Why? What is going on with my green screen? Audacious. Risky too. It's, I swear, it's being... I'll be on your tail when it's I being moody you play. this morning. I, I don't know why. My lighting is the same it's always been. I seriously think my camera is whack, dude. Like, my camera is just completely out of whack. I saw yesterday, but I was at work and couldn't watch. Looks kind of cool on your shirt when it does that. <laughs> I don't like it at all, actually. But I'm glad you think it looks cool, Jason. What's up, man? Good morning. How are you? Hopefully your weekend's off to a good start, my dude. All right, so let's go continue this on. Meet Sikea at the Ruins of Rin. Which, where is that at? Um, over here. Okay, cool. I guess this is the elevator. Ah, oh, nifty. I don't think this was these paths were made for a raptor. I'm just gonna be honest. Let's just get off this. It's making it harder than it should be. What in the world? Am I not following the path? I guess not. <clears throat> Follow the green arrows. I'm um, good. I played a lot of games last night. Went from Fortnite to Star Citizen to State of Decay 2. I don't think you saw my message to you the other day. I was giving you a hard time for, for playing Fortnite. Wait, now I have to go to an elevator up. What? I'm at the ruins of Rin. Oh. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I didn't even feel like I was at the ruins of Rin yet, but it, apparently I was. I did, I just ignored it. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Don't ignore me, Jay Storen. How dare you? Over here. And keep your ears down. This place is crawling with flame legion and the entrance is sealed with magic. We can't get in. How do the flame legion get inside? They use a magical trinket. Grief Blade's second in command carries it. He's still out here somewhere. Then we have a plan. Find the officer, kill him. And use his trinket. Quick and quiet, Legionnaire. Let's go. That's gonna be pretty cool to play with your son. My stealth magic is working. I'm looking forward to the, those times. We're, um. Uh, he literally just wears me out about playing my Oculus. We, we played downstairs uh, on the Oculus last night. I, last night. I set it up in my living room where we had more space. And, uh,. He loves it, man. I, I wish he I wish he knew how to control a little better, but that's going to come with time. I mean, he's only three. He was playing Beat Saber. It was pretty funny, actually. Pretty entertaining to watch. But whenever I was whenever I was playing, obviously I couldn't see him. But he was, like, making the same movements I was, like, trying to imitate me. <laughs> My wife showed me a video of it. It's pretty funny. He wants to do State of the Gate 2 as well. I believe we can really like how Xbox and PC do cross platform in these games. Yeah, it makes it to where you don't have to buy a thousand dollar machine for him, right? We played Sea of Thieves together too. That's a fun little game. I played the beta of it. I didn't buy it when it came out because I thought they it needed more content. But it's definitely a fun little game. Especially to play with groups of people. It's not not so much as fun solo, but yeah, definitely if you have a group of friends, it makes it pretty entertaining. Well, I hate this place too, bud. Heck is this? I know how to use this thing. 
I have to Xbox Game Pass, so I don't buy any of it. It's as it's free with a subscription to that for 15 a month. Really? Interesting. I didn't know that. It's pretty cool. Precious Tribium. We locked her up with only that cub's head for company. Fengar, I think his name was. Poor Fengar. Wait, I know you, Legionnaire. Why aren't you dead? Seems I should have sent more assassins. Ah, well. Hey, Sion, good morning. Ten times as many. Still wouldn't have helped. I see that. Never rely on a dull knife, as they say. I would have done you personally, but I was busy torturing that chatty cub you sent me. Of course, I don't need him now that I have Torga. She hasn't been as cooperative yet. But I'm sure Imperator Balefire will change that. Your Imperator will never see Torga. Not if I have anything to say about it. And we'll have to cut out your tongue and keep you from saying anything at all. Guards, wipe out this annoyance while I get back to work. I thought you uh, you were just complaining that you should have done it yourself. Why, why aren't you killing me now? I'm confused, man. I'm right here in front of you and you don't take advantage of it. Uh, as long as you, as long as it's on Game Pass, you can play for free, but it costs a monthly fee, and most new games aren't on it when they launch. Yeah, but you know, it's not, it's not necessarily always a bad thing, especially you know if it's for a secondary like gaming piece or a gaming machine like an Xbox. Uh, been on vacation, but now I have your CWS shirt. Let me know how to get it to you. Yeah, I need to. Uh, are you in Discord, by the way, Scion? I need to. Uh, I need to message it to you and, and let. Let me know what I need to pay for shipping or whatever, or just pay for it in general. I'll pay for it. Uh, okay. Oh, there's more. Uh, yeah, I got it for my son, then found out it works for PC too. Oh, so it works for, wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Interesting. That makes sense, though. That would it would work for PC as well. Are there more? There's got to be more. They're just giving me time to I guess clear the wave. I guess I could whisper you on Twitch too, Sion. I could do that. Either way, man. Just let me know what I need to do. Yeah, he can get all the games for Xbox, and I get all the ones for Xbox that cross platform and PC for $15. Yeah, if you're going to play games with them, absolutely. It's a great, great deal. It wasn't your fault, Tribune. Fengar knew what he was getting into. He died a soldier's death. Yes, we can. Grief blade disappeared as we were closing in, but we'll get him for this, Tribulus. I swear. I can offer you some help with that. While Tribulus was holding me prisoner, I gathered information from his soldiers. Tribulus has another safe house at Igni Castle. That's where he's gone. I'm not sitting this one out, Torga. Tribulus dies for what he's done. I'll beat him to death with his own horns. Respectfully, sir. If we storm in, Tribulus will just elude us again. We have to do this Ash Legion style. Quick and quiet. Fine. We do it your way. Sakea, take Torga back to the Citadel. The Legionnaire and I will handle Tribulus. Yeah, so, and that's that's honestly, Jason, what I, I'm, I'm hoping to get towards is where, he, you know, we can play games together. Um, I think that would be incredibly fun for me, obviously, but... Uh, hopefully it would add an element of entertainment for you guys also. He's just not quite there yet. We've we uh, we've gotten him to do some stuff, but it's just not really been. It's been more. I mean, I guess frustrating is probably the word. Just because, like to me, I just know he's not he's not ready yet. You know what I mean? So 
it makes it hard for me to uh, to get him to do things. It's a salvage item, but that's just so stupid. Caden, are you up here? Yeah. Okay, that must be mommy. Um, it's just really hard for me to try to get him, you know, to do things when I, I know like he's just not ready for it yet, right? Okay, I don't really care. Of course, I'm supposed to delete something. Why do I do I actually have to take that? Like, all right, whatever. We'll just delete something. That way, it leaves me alone. All right, I think I'd sit here. He's a little young. Yeah, he's only three, so he's got some time. We just introduced him to like a little Lego game on his iPad. That I think he enjoys. Okay. Um, I want to sell some stuff. Actually, we'll try to sell here. You've got gold, right? Of course, I've got gold, dude. You kidding me? I've got more gold than you can think of. Compact. Um. I'm gonna keep that. That's okay. I've got a hammer equipped already, I think. That may be actually be the, the hammer. Is it? It doesn't actually change it out. Interesting. I need to see. Like this is this is the hardest part for me is like knowing what to sell. Because I don't know what I've got equipped. Yeah, mighty iron hammer. Okay, so I know I can sell the vital hammer. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna whoa. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Okay. I can't do anything with this. I guess I'll just leave them in there. I have a lot of stuff though, like I can't sell. Like it's just virtually useless to me. Um Precise Iron Mace, I think I can get rid of, because I've got this one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, perfect. I actually want to equip this and maybe go. I don't know, I really am enjoying the dual swords, but I, I kind of want to go back to mace. Mace play is pretty fun. Um, so let's do that. Let's put that here. I could always run double mace, but nah, I'm good. All right, everything else is pretty much, it's there. Nah, I think we're good. I quit Guild Wars 2, was doing arenas all the time, and got tired of the hackers. It was really bad during the first year. Yeah, that's really like the last time I've played it, truthfully. Um, it was like back when it first came out. And so I didn't know any of the storyline. I felt like it was a good good time to, to jump into it. And really just kind of learn about the storyline behind it, the lore. I, I was really bad playing games before and not focusing on that. And I haven't had a good chance, a good game, to kind of pique my interest with the storyline. So I felt like playing Guild Wars, doing like a, a full playthrough of an actual um, race was going to be a good idea. So far, so good. It's, it's been enjoyable. I don't know why I teleported to there, but whatever. Where am I at? It's like this one's going to be the best one since that one's always under conflict. The living story is pretty cool with it, but the PvP was killed for me and my team at the time, but the hackers, not as big of a deal in PvE. Yeah, how is the PvE in this game? I haven't really done it other than just like the basic stuff. I did a little bit. I did some dungeons back in the day, but that's really the extent of it. I didn't actually do a whole lot. I was more about PvP back in the day. Uh, it's hard with no Trinity. I don't even know what Trinity is, so. This is the only bad thing about storyline, though, for a stream. There's a lot of dialogue. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I got you. Makes sense. Face -to -face combat. We need a diversion that'll draw some troops away before we sneak in. Divide and conquer. I love the classics. Once Divide we separate, and conquer. We can destroy them. Quick and quiet like. Now you're thinking like it. Right. That's how it was before. It's probably why I didn't care about it. The tribulus will never see us coming. said something about distractions what do you have in mind um 
know much about the local wildlife. These woods are dry. Maybe we could torch something. I think I can short circuit one of these turrets and make it explode. I've got some smoke powder. Maybe we could use that. Hmm. What do you guys want to do? Um. I think I want to short circuit one of the turrets and make it explode. That sounds like more fun. Taking a page from the Iron Legion, eh? Tinkering the, to turn flames own weapons against them, which makes it doubly ironic. I like it. Solid. Move out. All right. Cool. Do we have to go that way? I guess we go through the cave. Yeah, whatever. These cave trolls won't hurt us. They're just trolls. They're just trolling. Quarry entrance. Yeah. I guess all these red dots are the guards we need to distract. Can we go around them, I guess? Wait, do we actually have to kill these guys too? What in the world? I have no idea what's going on. I thought that's what the trolls were for. It's not. So do I kill these guys? Yeah, whatever. YOLO. Hey man, we're just gonna kill them all. Forget distractions. What are these distractions you speak of? It's always had the cinematic as far as I remember. It thought it might not have read all of it. Yeah, I knew I knew that it was uh, It always had the cinematic, that's correct. But I don't think it always had the voices. I don't think the voice acting was all, all there. That was one thing I, I kind of liked about doing the story is is the voice acting was in place. I'm I'm 90% sure the voice acting wasn't there on launch. Like I feel like I'm making these distractions, but I've already killed people. I've been considering going back to WoW for BOA to check it, or BFA, you mean? Check out and dust off my Hunter and Rogue, but I don't know. It's hard to give people a, time, a hard time for streaming it if I don't do that. I mean, listen, it's all banter. Like, I don't care if you go play it. You can give me a hard time for playing it. I give myself a hard time for playing it. But I've, I've played every WoW expansion. Why would I, why would I not continue on now, you know? I don't like, this. It's too quiet. I don't like it either. I don't like you either. So you shall die. Looks like we missed some. I guess we gotta kill those guys too. I'm, I'm really confused. I thought we were making a distraction to get in quietly, but we're now we're just killing them. Like I, I guess I'm, I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. But whatever it is what it is. I'm off to bed. Then I have four days off. We will catch up. Then Dioko, take care. Miss Wrath, thanks for hanging out this morning, man. And uh, I should say Miss Wraith, not Miss Wrath. Miss Wraith. Um. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for showing me some stuff on the Ranger. And, uh, yeah, we'll collaborate some more, man. Fun times dueling this morning. Definitely. Have a good sleep, my dude. Alright. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, don't... Just because, yeah, it's one of those games that we always go back to... It's part of it. Just go play it. Enjoy it for what it is. Now, I will say this, though. I am probably going to play that game with a PvP focus. I'm not going to play that game with a PvE focus. 
because honestly, I've never played that game with a PvP focus. I've always played it with a PvP focus. Um, so yeah. I've ran a guild in every single one of them but the first two. I ran one in Legion and I hated every minute of it. Because I was the raid leader and stuff. Not fun. I must be cursed. information for you, Tribulus. I know how you died, and it's time you found out. Never fighting words where I come from. I did raids last time. If I go back, I will probably focus on arena specifically. Yeah, same. Nice work, soldier. That was so much fun. I don't want to stop. Here, I'll hold up Tribulus's body and you kill him again. Thanks, but no thanks, Tribulus. We've wasted enough time on this flight mission, scum. Too true. You've done good work here. You did the Ash Legion proud. <laughs> Thank you, Tribulus. It was an honor to have you fight by my side. Not many from Blood Legion would try it our way. I like knowing how my allies fight. It's the best way to keep them from becoming my enemies. Now, get some downtime. You've earned it. Looking forward to it, sir. All right. Now I'm sure we have to go debrief. Okay, that's level 20. Good. I don't have to do that yet. I've been raid leader in multiple MMOs in my time, so that's not as big of a deal. I have no problem being that guy when people aren't performing. I usually try to help them get better repeatedly for parting ways. Yeah, people didn't like my idea of raid leading, though. I, I'm pretty, uh, I was, I'm pretty brutal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I don't sugarcoat things. Especially, especially when we're running mythic raids and people are just continue to fail and fail and fail on the same mechanic. And after you've given them several different ways to, you know, be successful. So that was, that was frustrating, like incredibly frustrating for me. And just, yeah, I just got to the point where I was like, look, you guys need to just find somebody else because this is not for me. Some of the people I'm still friends with spend a lot of time helping getting better each raid. I mean, that's what it's about. Don't get me wrong, but there was a week we spent in Legion. Like, when I say a week, I mean like seven days of raiding for like three hours. We didn't down uh, the first boss in, what was it, uh, Emerald Nightmare? I was like, no, I'm not going to continue to do this. This is terrible. Like, clearly, the, the capacity to do this is not there. And at that point, uh, we were just so far behind that, like, I just, I didn't want to try to go out and find another guild, you know? Because I was a tank, and everybody had tanks. So, I didn't feel like relearning my entire spec you know, to, to go raid. So it's just, to me, it was like, all right, it's, it's just a good time to just do something else. Wait, level seven. Why is this level seven? Where am I? Oh, I'm in the starter zone. Oh my gosh. No wonder. I was like, why is this level seven? I just realized what I'm doing. All right. Um, oh, there's a hero point up there. Let's go do that. But yeah, I definitely, 
I'm definitely going to take a PvP approach, just because they're changing some PvP stuff too, uh, which will be nice. I'm going to worry about more storyline later. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the stream just kind of roaming. Hey, what's up? Hey, welcome in, Lucky Chimera. Is it Chimera or Chimara? I've always wondered about that word. It's always been a, a weird word for me to pronounce. I think it's Chimera, right? I spent hours upon hours helping people individually that wanted to improve if I knew their class for the experience. Yeah. I Listen, I played pretty much every tanking class. Uh, so has everyone else. <laughs> well, help me out here. How do you pronounce it? With a, a ch or a k? With a K or a CH? And that's how I'll pronounce it for you. Alright, what do we... Let's go in here and kill this guy. This guy looks like a lot more fun right now. Oh snap, that hurt. I have returned. We must rise and return to the fight. Dude, he is smoking me right now. Holy cow, that hurts. I don't even know what some of these other abilities do, but I'm about to die, boys and girls. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, I said Chimara for 10 years, but fairly soon started saying Chimera. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I'll just say it. I'll answer both. All right, cool, Chimera. Well, again, welcome in, man. Uh, if you are a Guild Wars enthusiast, uh, welcome. I am not. Why is this guy still on me? You're getting hit by another guy. Oh, my gosh. What a jerk. And I don't have this waypoint. That's a rip. was not expecting to die there, but okay. Um, I, this is the first time I've, I've played Guild Wars 2. I mean, I've, I've played now a few streams. This is my third stream playing it. Um, I've played it now for three streams in a row. So we're just kind of working through the Char storyline and, uh, just trying to really take our time this go around and enjoy it for what it, what it is. All right, so let's go up here. And I'm going to get this waypoint this time. I'm not going to goof up. Been playing since Prophecies? Okay, cool. Well, again, welcome in. Glad to have you. And uh, we we encourage backseat gaming here. Uh, so if you have any suggestions or tips, feel free to drop those. Traveling east of the Haven, you'll find a few of our soldiers are on holiday, celebrating Meetoberfest. It's a grand Matter of fact, let's put this back up. Drink as much as you want. The only downside to the festival is that it makes us regular targets for separatists. The noise also causes us grief with the dredge. They have a large base of operations north of the festival. And if they're not bothering us here, they're off bothering the miners at the quarry. We'd appreciate any assistance you could offer us. And don't, don't forget, forget to have, have a, a good time. time. We will have a good time. We always have a good time, don't we? Don't we, chat? Yes, we do. Uh, oh, snap. Supporting Backseat Gaming? That's a first. Yep. Yep. It's, uh, again, I don't I don't really care too much. As long as you're not one of those guys that just goes overboard with it and, like, calls me for every... Oh, you, you misplayed that. You should have hit three before five and five before six. Bro, sorry. It's just more like if you have tips. If you have pointers, please, I encourage that. Uh... So I'm playing Revenant. Revenant's actually a lot of fun. Um, I don't think they had it when I was first started playing. That's what everyone, everyone always tells me. Don't die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> That's how you handle those guys. I 
I couldn't hit this before. I don't know why. Dredge forces remaining, 21%. No, because here's the thing, like at the end of the day, if people are more experienced than me in the game, like by all means, speak up. I'm not going to get offended by that. I mean, I know I'm not the most knowledgeable person in every single game I play, so like who would I be to be like, oh, just don't tell me what to do because I know what I'm doing. Now, if you like tell me spoilers, that's different. Oh yeah, coming up in the next, uh, next mission, you're going to have this, this, and this. Like, okay, I don't really need to know that because I'm about to find out, you know? But yeah, the don't die is... That's the classic. Alright, we got that. Let's, I'm actually going to go down here and sell again. I feel like that's all I do. Ooh, I actually need to use that Black Lions uh, key real quick. Let's see, there's a vendor down here. Yes, please, actually. Yeah, what, what is going on? Can you just, can I just, like, hello? Thank you. I don't, you guys are getting all sideways on me. I'm just trying to sell my stuff. Uh, actually, let's see what these do. Nope, not good. All right, let's open this, actually. Open. A heavy crafting bag. Contains six tier crafting materials. Double click to open. Don't mind if I do. Utility primer. Any utility item consumed while the primer is active will have the same remaining time as the primer. Rounded up to the next hour. Does not stack. Uh, okay. A black line statuette. Use this item to select your choice of key. Interesting. Okay, cool. Noted. Now just more stuff I can't get rid of. I don't even know what's good, so I'm going to save that for later. I'm not going to consume that. Um, what did I just do? I didn't. What in the world? Holy smokes, dude. I have no idea. You guys have any, you have any bags? Thank you. I just need bags. I need another bag because I get burdened down way too quick. Ooh. I facepalm when they say it most of the time. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It does look valuable. Uh, we just stay here drinking all day. Actually, I need to get the base. I already have a basic salvage kit. What am I doing, John? You're just using more inventory space. Alright, so I can't I can't do anything with these. I should pretty much just get rid of anything that I can't salvage and can't sell, right? Because I don't need it. So yeah, I'm just going to delete this stuff. It's, it's literally useless to me. Oh, you should do this, this, and this with it. Well, you didn't tell me before. So now it's not important. There's an event, and I just completely missed it. It's all good. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, all this stuff I can't get rid of. Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, I'm just talking about the stuff I can't salvage. I just get rid of because I don't need it. I can't sell it. I can't salvage it. So what good is it? Yeah, those need to be destroyed because I've already done that one. There we go. Piece of scrap metal, metal, event item. I don't need that. Like, I don't know why I can't deposit these wooden planks either. I must be full, right? That's what that means. I don't need this either. I don't think I need this. I don't. Yeah, I hate that part. I usually go to the Mystic Forge. 
Okay, so educate me. What does that do? Again, new, pretty new player in that regard, so bear with me. All right, let's get this POI and we'll head north to that heart. You could craft the logs and the planks for more room. Oh yeah, I got you. Eliminate the dredge in their machinery, revive fallen allies. Okay, so that's what that mission is. The butcher's yard. Doesn't really sound like a place I want to hang out very much, to be fair. Let's just destroy these. Oh, it's already pretty much destroyed. Rip. Five hundred killing blows with Swordmaster. That's nice. Where are these guys shooting at me from? Is it from the guard tower? Maybe. So lucky, we'll call you since Jason calls me out on it. What uh, what other games do you play? Just curious. In the main city of Lions Arch, there's something called the Mystic Forge. There are many recipes for Mosley. If you throw the Force of items, it will spit something back out to you. Okay. Uh, this is what was throwing stuff at me. I mean, I've crafted before, but like, I don't really know the ins and outs. Like, it, It's not like anything, any high-level crafting I've never done. Get War 2, Borderlands, Warframe, Elder Scrolls series, and so much more. I got you. What do you think about Warframe? Like, give me your honest opinion on Warframe. That's an interesting one to me. I've played a little bit of it. And by a little bit, I mean like one, one day, one stream. I really like it, but it's pretty grindy. Still, it's an awesome game. I yeah, I like, I like the concept behind it. I just don't know. I I feel like it's, it's a lot to get into. It's a lot to comprehend. Um, and, and I'm not saying I, I don't like a game that that has depth. It's just like I think they're beginner. Um, the beginner experience I don't think is very good. And maybe it's just because I I've, I've gotten into it way too late. That's probably honestly what's happened. More so than uh, what I previously stated. It's space ninjas with superpowers. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Yo, do you like space ninjas? Well, let me introduce you to a great game. I, uh, I mean, I like, I've always played shooters. I was a competitive Counter-Strike player, so that to me is actually kind of nice. I kind of like the fact that you have to have some sort of ability to aim. Now, granted, it's not everything, but uh, it, it helps. So that, that brings an element to it that makes me like it and enjoy it instead of like tab targeting. That's kind of why we also play a game that we play. Uh, I don't know if you've heard it called Crowfall. Crowfall is our main game uh, that we play a lot of. It's in pre-alpha, so that's something. If you haven't heard of that game, I would suggest looking it up. Or maybe checking out some some vods of mine uh, on YouTube, if if you like, basically it's hardcore loot, PvP, all that stuff. Wait, you were competitive? I was a competitive Counter Strike player. Yes, 
for years. Alright, let's see. Oh, you know what? I never got that hero point up there. Let's go get that real quick. Like, don't get me wrong, I didn't play professionally, okay? I just played competitively. I'm not a professional by any stretch of the imagination. I actually follow a guy that's semi-competitive. What's his name? I might know him. I mean, I was around the Counter-Strike scene from... Well, if we, if we talk about which time. Um... I played CSGO competitively between 2000, the end of 2012, and I just finished up last year, last August 2017. So that's five years in CSGO I spent. Um, and then in terms of before that, I played a lot of 1.6 competitively. I dabbled in Source very, like for a couple months, but that was about the time I went to college. So I didn't, didn't have much time to play in college. Um, with school, baseball, and all that stuff. It just wasn't, uh, it wasn't for me. I played, I played competitive StarCraft in college, but that's it. Uh, Netic might have been a different game, though. I mean, there's a lot of Counter-Strike players. I just didn't know. Maybe if it's somebody that I knew. <laughs> all right, let's see. What is this? A hastily scribbled sign reads, warning, a large devour nest. Do not proceed unless you're looking for a fight. Well, I am looking for a fight, so let's go. Dang, you are big. This guy is v vicious, man. Man, this would have been a good one to run uh, my dual swords on just because of the um, the evasion I get from my three ability. A team named Backdraft mean anything? Oh man, that's another thing too. That scene changes so much that it's it's tough to keep up. Um. I mean, there's so many small organizations that pop up and go away and disappear. It's just, it's the nature of it. People are always trying to get into it. Um, I'll tell you what, that area, what is this one? Level 17? Okay. Yeah, we'll go to this. I need another scout. I'm looking for a scout. Are these guys enemies? Yeah. What is this? Repair drilling machines, detonate rock piles, slay dredge, and collapse dredge holes. All right, I can do that. So did you play on a team? I don't know much about Counter-Strike. I did, yes. I played on a team. Several teams over the years. I've actually worked for... Um, I worked for E-League as well, some. Which is a... It's owned by Turner. Turner Sports. I did some observing for them uh, last year as well. It's a pretty cool experience last fall. Um, well, that's the thing. Like I said before, it's really kind of... You wouldn't know any of them because they weren't professional teams. I would say... Let's see. If you know anybody in Counter-Strike, there's a couple people that you may know. Maybe. Um, Rush from Cloud9... I was actually his first in-game leader back in 2012, 2013. Maybe, what was that? Probably, yeah, I think it's the winter, 2012. Maybe early 2013. Um, who else? There's some other ones. I'm trying to think. Um, another kid who...
played for Soar Gaming. I'm not really sure where he is. He played for Dignitas too. Exceed. I uh, I was his in-game leader for a, a small time. Hmm. I would definitely say Rush is probably by far like the most notable. And there's some other names that are kind of on the on the cusp of doing something, but they're not there yet. the world yeah I like how you think oh, I just got invulnerable must be bugged no but he's freaking smacking the crap out of me I can't hit him but he sure as heck can hit me it's ridiculous Now you want to wake up, huh? I'm going to die, guys. Oh, no. Alright. Let's see if I can... Rally! Woo! I forgot killing the low or killing an enemy rallied you. I forgot about the mechanic. That's nice. Hmm. Is this guy still here? He's still just popping shots off while wow, bugged. That's rude. Dredge. Oh, we gotta kill the dredge tunnels for this event. Alright, let's go kill these. There's one over here. Or that's up top. Looks like it may be up top. Nope, I see it down there. I guess that guy over there was like a was like a champion. He hurt. I figured we'd probably have one of those at every tunnel, but I guess not. I guess just that one. All the miners are dead. Where is that coming from? That circle attack. Is that one of these guys? Maybe. There's one on top. I don't know why my horse is... There we go. Or my, my horse, my raptor. Wasn't able to go. I am not good about getting my directional, like, conal abilities going the right way. I need to work on that. Dang, I only have time to respond to that. It just hits me for a ton of damage. Alright, two more. Dos mas. One mo. Why is their morale so high if I've killed six of seven tunnels? Doesn't make much sense, does it? Oh, that comes from there. I see now. Hey, Lucky, thanks for the follow, man. And again, welcome to Dioko TV. Hope you've enjoyed yourself so far this morning. 
Appreciate you hanging out and having a good time with us. All right, so that's seven of seven. Now, what's in the center? Drive the... Dr okay. So, I, I guess I just have to get the morale down. It hasn't really moved, though. That's the problem. I mean, I've killed all their tunnels. Like, how many of these guys do I have to kill? Okay, now it's going down a lot. Does that make sense? I always enjoy myself? Good. Well, I figured, you know, if, if you didn't enjoy yourself, you probably wouldn't have been here very long, right? It's <laughs> the way I look at it anyways. That's why you tune into Twitch channels is to enjoy yourself. Eat a boulder in the face. How's that? How are them apples? I wonder if I raise up these miners. I bet that might help the morale go down. At least they'll be able to fight Dredge too. Nope, that ain't working. Hmm. Okay, no, that one did. That one moved it a bit. Unless somebody killed one about the same time. Which I guess is possible. Uh, I'm on NA. I'm from America. If you couldn't tell from my accent. I could really speak like a southerner from the United States if you wanted me to. With a country twang. But I won't. I'll spare you. That's why I follow because the streamer is awesome. There you go. Where are you from? You from EU or NA? Gotcha. Cool, man. I think a lot of times people always, like for me, like when you said NA, I think instantly like you're from the U.S. But I guess there's a lot of, you can be Mexican, you can be Canadian. All that kind of, I mean, technically you don't have to be any of the above. You could, you know, just live in the North America. All right, what do we have? 2%. All right, this guy will do it. About gosh darn time. I did it all by myself. Let's go get this Vista. Where is it at? There it is. Oh, that's an easy one. Dang, dude. What a slave driver. All right, enjoy it, guys. Enjoy the view. Um, by the way, guys, if just so you guys know, um, if you resub to the channel, do this. Make sure that you hit like you refresh the stream, and then up top in, of the chat, you should have a little notification to announce it to the stream. Okay, I know some people resub from time to time, and they don't catch that, and they're like, "Why didn't it pop up on stream?" It's because you actually have to physically, um, physically have to hit that button up there to, to announce it okay so be sure that if you guys do that i just i want to make sure everybody gets their uh their their notoriety and i don't want people to think it's because of me it's just because you have to actually hit that button uh welcome back delta you are from the south i am from the south i got an eight man kill fit kill feed and rope i have no idea what roblox is so Unfortunately, Delta, that means nothing to me. See, Scion, I, I thought it might have been you. I thought it might have been you out there lurking. Thanks for the reset, man. Appreciate you. By the way, you guys can see we changed some of the graphics for uh, resubs, too. So that way it shows the coffee mug, which will eventually be the subscriber icon 
um, whenever we get that later. It's supposed to be this month. It's supposed to be in July. So instead of the star by your name, you'll have a little coffee mug. Similar to this guy right here. It'll be similar to that. All right, so let's see. Which one is the lowest level? 19, 20, 21. Okay, we'll go north first and get that one. Sion, how was vacation, man? Did you have a good time? I trust you did. My friend's son wanted me to play Roblox with him. Like, what is it? I guess I need to look into it. Is it? Is it like a? Here's the thing. Is it? Uh, is, if it's if it's child friendly, I may I may put my son on it. See if he can play it. I like to test him with games and see what he can do. Okay, cool. There's some stuff up here. Let's go up here. It's like there's a hero challenge. There's a Vista and there's a POI. So, well, let's help this guy out. I guess that is up there. Is there an elevator or something? Hmm. Uh, it's like it's like Minecraft. Awesome. Just got back last night and trying to recover. So where did you go? Okay, how do we get up? We we have to be able to get up there somehow, right, guys? Let's talk to these guys. God is being death me. I've been stationed in some army place before, but nothing compared to this one. I know how the sounds, but. I'll you know what, flying? It's because of this guy down here. You got to go down here, and remember that guy that I I accidentally clicked on. I think it's you shoot. Yeah, that's what it is. The catapult shoots you up top. Hilton Head. Okay. It's so kid friendly, but I would review it just to be safe. Okay, cool. All right, show me what you have. Ten toughness. I actually replaced the power with that. I think. Um, I think that one. Where is that yeah, perfect. My experiment can't begin without test subjects. Um, I'm just kind of clicking through here. I'm not really reading, so. Haha. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah, Hilton Head's a nice place. I personally have never been, but I've, I've definitely had a lot of people go um, and enjoy themselves. I just, we typically go, we go Florida, Gulf Shores, stuff like that. We don't typically go uh, to the Atlantic side. Kaden, what are you watching? Oh, what he's doing is like having some goofy laugh. I have no idea what he's watching. <laughs> he's like, can you guys hear him? He's like yelling. All right, uh, let's see. Motivate Blood Legion troops and destroy the ghost trebuchets and cannons in the Greenwich ruins. Okay. Yeah, you can. Kaden, Kaden, what? what are you watching? What? You have entered an area where mounts are not allowed. Turn back or be dismounted. I guess I'll be dismounted. It was a great way for me to get that notification after I was already dismounted. There's a hero, or a, yeah, another hero point in here, so. Sweet. The only unfortunate thing about doing a playthrough live on stream is the fact that... Can I go down here? Yes. Ooh, I thought that was going to hurt. Is the fact that... Uh, I can't actually play this character off stream, and I really enjoy this character. <laughs> it's the only bad thing about that. I made a guardian yesterday. That class seems pretty fun. 
Uh, also got a warrior. I'm kind of working up as well. So there's a couple of... Uh, oh, snap. I'm losing health quickly. Oh, I did not catch that until just now. I'm going to die, guys. I can maybe finish them off when I'm rallying. Yeah, oof. That was really close. We got it nonetheless, though. Bam! Alright, let's get some more HP before we commune. Maybe just been one of those that you just kill everything around it, and that's the challenge. The question is, how do we get out of here? I guess I can always just complete it and then teleport out. That's always an option. Lucky, how fast can you actually level from 1 to 80? Like, without actually paying attention to the storyline because you know it already, or whatever. I feel like if I didn't care about the storyline, I could level probably in less than 30 hours playtime. I hope I get... Do I get credit for killing these oozes? No, I don't. That's unfortunate. And kind of dumb. I might actually die now. I think I can kill him though. It's gonna be close. Woof, we got him. Just barely. Alright, let's go outside because let's do this. Actually, here's a staircase. Even better. Uh, assuming it keeps going up. In the world, I can wait. What? What am I? What am I mining? I feel like I was mining a raven. Like I was clicked on the raven. I was mining something in there. What in the world is going on? All right, let's just warp out of here. That's gonna be a lot easier. Much better. No. Combat is so much fun in this game. I've played a lot of games, but I don't know why. This is this just seems so fun to me. I don't know if it's the animations. It's probably the animations, if I had to guess, but regardless, very enjoyable. Where are these shooting at? Okay, there's cannons up there. It's like I keep killing them and like more keep firing at me. All right, cool. We're done with that anyways. Perfect. There's a POI up here. Guys, again, welcome in. If you're new here, thank you for dropping by. We are continuing our playthrough of the Char storyline for Guild Wars 2. So, all right, cool. We got that taken care of. Now it's over with. We are not your average Guild Wars 2 player. We're actually probably below average. I don't know why I can't get out of there. Um, we typically play a game called Crowfall. So if you guys haven't been by here before, if you follow or check us out later, 
on another stream, we may be playing a game called Crowfall, just FYI. Tomorrow morning, we'll probably continue on with Guild Wars 2, just because uh, we did try uh, Crowfall this morning, and, and the numbers are just kind of down in the morning time. So it's a good time to play through a, a different game. So if you want to check out Crowfall, I think next week's stream schedule is going to be a bit different. We actually have a work trip we have to take. Um, so I will be streaming... Tuesday and Wednesday next week as opposed to Tuesday and Thursday and then the weekend streams of Saturday and Sunday morning next week will not be there because we will be on business so I will update the stream schedule accordingly uh, to reflect such changes but again Tuesday Wednesday of next week at 7 30 p.m. Eastern time is when we'll be streaming all right, so coal scale, retrieve water samples from test kits and repair chemical dispensers in Black Blade Lake. We've got about five more minutes left on the stream. Uh, just to kind of plug some things real quick, we don't typically do this except for once throughout the stream. Uh, if you guys do, in fact, have Twitch Prime or don't know how to get Twitch Prime, exclamation mark in chat uh, will give you that information. Information? In that mation? Information? I don't even know what I just said. Um, and then, yeah, that's also going to allow you to link your Amazon Prime with your Twitch and get Twitch Prime. It will allow you to sub for free to your favorite streamer. doesn't have to be me. Just kind of helping you guys out there. It also gets you access to some things. Hey, Lats1, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, it will get you some access to some free games. Uh, some specials, like, for example, a while back, they got, gave you, like, 700 bits, which is, like, a $10 value for, like, a dollar. Pretty good deal. Um, and then, yeah, check out the YouTube, social medias, other stuff down below as well. We do put all of our VODs up on YouTube so that if you guys can watch YouTube from work, maybe listen to something in the background, that option is there for you. Some, some companies block Twitch, rightfully so, but uh, we do put the VODs up on YouTube. Our entire playthrough of the Char storyline will be up on YouTube as well. So uh, that's actually in a separate subcategory on our playlists. I think that's really kind of everything. Um, the only other thing I would say is if you guys, again, it's completely voluntary, but these guys, everything tastes better out of a Diaco coffee mug. It's down below as well. But seriously, if you guys, if you guys are Guild Wars 2 gamers, and are looking for another kind of up-and-coming game, check out Crowfall. Um, it's actually a really good game. I don't get anything for you purchasing it other than the fact of knowing somebody else is going to be satisfied with another game. So look into that if it interests you. Ask me questions. There's a lot of information um, on their website, which is linked down below. Again, that's not a referral link in any way, so it's just a way for to make it simple for viewers to check that out. I'm trying to think what else. What else can we talk about? I think that's it. I, that, that's I'm done with my shameless plugging now. Again, we only do that once a stream, so you kind of get it all at once, unfortunately. But lads, welcome in, man. Uh, good to see a new face. I'm not sure if you're a Guild Wars player or maybe stopping by because you saw some Crowfall stuff somewhere else. But again, welcome to Dioko TV. All right, we're gonna finish up. I think this little heart here and I think we're going to call it a day good war super cool man awesome good stuff I am uh, I'm hoping to kind of you know meet some new people uh, in the guild wars community just because eventually I want to do pvp and stuff too uh, I mentioned that Crowfall is currently my number one game, but it's in pre-alpha, so the player base is kind of, there's peaks and valleys of when people play. We've got a patch coming up next week that's going to change uh, probably the activity rate of the, the players, so we'll probably be playing a lot of Crowfall, but we'll be back to Guild Wars 2 for sure, and especially on the weekends. Uh, the weekend mornings are probably a, a good time because the player base in Crowfall is not really awake, unless we're doing something specific for Crowfall that day. Um, this just seems like a, a really natural fit for me to play during the downtimes or, or the off hours. Do I actually have to turn those in? I haven't noticed.
how how is the I mean I, obviously I've I've done my research and, and looked at some of the uh, other streamers in Guild Wars, but how is the, the Guild Wars streaming community? Is it pretty good? Are there a lot of streamers or kind of hit or miss sometimes? Is it just people like me kind of dropping in and not really playing it a whole lot or or coming back to it, I guess is probably the better way to say that. I was thinking, didn't even know Crowfall was out. And yeah, I don't mind playing with you. Sure, awesome, man, cool. Keep that in mind down the road. Um, yeah, Crowfall, Crowfall is available to be purchased. Um, the base package of fifty dollars is going to get you access, so they are fully active. There's a big patch coming out, hopefully this week. We're assuming this week. Um, I say this week, next week technically. The twelfth is when the this campaign goes down that we're on, which is Thursday. Um, so if they're going to do it. Now would be a good time, or it may last another two weeks before it happens. I'm just not 100% sure yet. Uh, there's quite a few streamers who play Guild Wars 2 as a main game, but there's also a lot that are in and out. I got you. I guess from a viewer perspective, is it a fun game to watch, like, the the late game content? Like, what's more, what's more appealing, PvP or PvE as a viewer? I feel like PV PvP always has that element of, you know, entertainment value. But, then again, PvE could be kind of a big thing, too. Big tasty fish. Can I hit somebody with it? Nope, I can eat it, though. That works. Okay, yeah, I feel like I have to turn those in to get credit for them. So, let's go do that. Because I've got quite a few of them, I think, by now. Uh, let's go see. Oh, hello. No, uh, that's not the hearts. Here's the heart. There we go. I knew that was going to be a lot. I reckon both raids and top tier PvP for me. Okay, cool. How hard is it to get into raids? Is it pretty tough? I may have to look into that eventually. All right, I think that's it. Okay, guys, we're going to stop it here. So the next time we log in, this will be our starting point, like a guild. I think, okay. Yeah, well, that would be the, that'd be the thing is to try to find a group. But, you know, if it's tough to get into, it's tough to get into, right? But, uh, all right, guys, that is going to do it today for morning coffee with Yoko. We'll be back tomorrow morning around 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check that below to see when that applies for you on the, the countdown, the schedule. Um, we will be continuing on with Guild Wars 2. When I log in tomorrow, I'll be right here in this exact place. Okay, we're not going to change it in any way, shape, or form. Okay. So uh, hopefully you guys will join us tomorrow. And again, I will update the schedule with the, the changes to the schedule I mentioned uh, just a few minutes ago. But again, check out the social medias below. And uh, be sure to check out Discord. If you guys have not gotten in the Discord server, do so. Uh, it's just a great place to get reminded, hey, we're streaming. Or, hey, if you need something, you can message me there. It's just a great place to, to communicate. So, anyways, guys, enjoy your Saturday. Get out and have a good time. In the meantime, we will see you bright and early tomorrow morning with Morning Coffee. With me and you, because you will be here. Take care.